In today's video, we are going to be covering the FNCS code and how it will help you qualify. I'm going to be showing you pro techniques from professionals to ensure you get your hopes and dreams. Stay tuned to the end of the video for the best chances. As always, enjoy the rest of the video. Some people go on YouTube and search for videos that should help them on how to qualify. Well, let me say that you're in massive luck because you've came across this video as a short but in-depth guide to help you out. The best first step I can give you is to find yourself a quality teammate that you have chemistry with and that will stick with you. This is the base of having a great go in tournaments and after learning from each other you will become unstoppable. If you don't already have one feel free to use the comment section below if you want to. The second step is to understand the professional aspect by watching tournament highlights from massive creators like Peter Bot and Poyo to learn from the winners of FNCS in the NA region. These players have a great understanding of rotation, how to W key and win battles by pressuring opponents. I'll link up a video in the top right of the screen so you guys can know how to W key in Fortnite. Fortnite could be an easy game to play or the hardest game of your life. It truly depends on how much you understand to fight and how to take down your opponents. In Fortnite, the key to having a good game in a ranked or a tournament is to have a great warm up and that is by playing Marto's Turtle Fights. This map helped me play good before any tournament and some pros even use it. The next step is to play with in-game confidence to grow your ability to gain more points and receive better opportunities to winning points. This means to not be worried to fight as that would worsen your ability to play. If you don't challenge others, it's dependent on how you want to play it. But otherwise, it's more on to how you can gain points without a problem. So therefore, let me ask you a question. Do you see pros camping and not apply pressure to people? And the best to do is find the best communication between yourself and your teammate. This is the most important step because if you weren't going to do so, you and your teammate will not ever perform. And sad to say that this is a fact. Always cheer on your teammate, but always never make them feel upset as that will make you lose games and ruin the tournament like you're digging yourself a grave. I wanted to say a special thank you to all of you who subscribed in my last videos and the massive support I've been getting. It truly means a lot to me and I'm extremely grateful for all of you and every step of the way till we reach 1000 subscribers. And I just wanted to wish luck to all of you in your next tournament and I want to wish everyone an amazing day and I'm really grateful for all of you. Thank you all and have a good time in your next tournament. Anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to drop a like and subscribe down below. I would really, really appreciate that. And as always, have a blessed day.